what's going on everybody this is DK Dynamite and today we're gonna be talking about some upcoming maps in Modern Warfare 2 leaked gameplay for the game which just surfaced a couple of hours ago and even more definitely stay tuned but before we jump into that be sure to hit that subscribe button down below drop a like and make sure the notifications on to stay up to date with everything going on in Cold War Year 2 Warzone Modern Warfare 2 and any other future Call of Duty as well be sure to check out FUPS a not so healthy snack food that makes a range of flavorful corn puff snacks made from the simple ingredients of corn oil oil and flavor dust. They come in five delicious flavors including grocery store cheddar, semi-historic sour cream and onion, professional salt and vinegar, instant hot chocolate, and an unambiguous cinnamon toast. Be sure to use code SNACKS15 for a 15% off discount which is also linked down below in this video's description or the pinned comment. Now Trackers also announced that they're bringing out the Onslaught Mystery Munitions LTM to all platforms for the first time tomorrow Friday in Black Ops Cold War and it was of course a PlayStation exclusive mode last year which which Xbox and PC never saw. So tomorrow I do have a very special video plan considering we have a pretty awesome year two update coming to Cold War and we'll be talking more about Onslaught Mystery Munitions at some point tomorrow. And I also want to give another shout out to one of my best friends and fellow Bombshell co-host Fajardi for putting out another concept art bundle for what could have been an Unleash the Carnage pack. Now, not only does this look real, but there's some crazy looking custom items in the bundle itself, and it looks fantastic. Point being though, I wanna see bundles in Modern Warfare 2 look as good as the concept art that this man has put out over the last couple of months. He's been doing a great job with custom bundles, crazy crossovers with Marvel. I mean, he's done it all. And I think, honestly, he set down the foundation for what bundles should look like, and just how you can really work your way up from just doing thumbnails to making something as custom as this to hopefully get hired one day at a AAA studio. This man deserves it. But our first major report is coming from the gaming scooper himself, Tom Henderson, claiming that High Rise Terminal, Quarry, and Afghan are in Warzone 2 as points of interest. And what's funny about that is that current rumors state that Warzone 2 will have a map that's smaller than Caldera but bigger than Verdansk. But regardless of that, it'll somehow incorporate some small sections of these maps. And what I think about the most when hearing this report is that not only will they be in Warzone 2, but they'll likely also have their full versions of those maps within Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. If they don't, people out there will probably riot. I mean, it's ironic that these exact maps were also rumored to be in Modern Warfare 2019. I remember seeing a report at the time claiming that pretty much uh, most fan favorite maps from the original Modern Warfare series were going to be remastered in MW 2019 multiplayer, but we never ended up seeing too many of them. We got some releases, right? I can think of Rust, I can think of Hard Hat, maps that I personally love, but we never really got too many more, and that's why I'm like, alright, they'll probably probably end up saving most of those remasters that were done for the Modern Warfare sequel to hopefully ensure that by launch and even by season one or two of the game cycle, there will be a lot of maps offered in multiplayer. But on the flip side, there's also a chance that we don't get these four maps in multiplayer, but we get a taste of them at least in Warzone 2. That's also something that I wouldn't be shocked about, but they'll listen to fan feedback nonetheless, right? I'm hoping for that. Now there is also leaked gameplay already going around regarding Modern Warfare 2. It's unclear what the footage is is of. It's unclear if that's Warzone 2, if that's DMZ, but there is footage out there of somebody inspecting a weapon, walking around this desert-like environment, and there's even footage going around which conveys an old screenshot that surfaced. I think it was a good four or five months ago. There was a screenshot that came out of somebody just holding a weapon while there was an operator in front of them, and now the gameplay equivalent from that image has been posted as well, and I know there's also recreations going around of what the footage looks like, because I can't show you the exact images or gameplay on screen for obvious reasons. I mean, the footage itself has been taken down across several different Twitter accounts, so I have the images, so that probably confirms the legitimacy of the leaked footage itself. But what's funny to me is that every time there's leaked gameplay for something, or even just leaked footage of a movie or, or something out there, some form of media, it's always recorded from like a Nokia or an iPhone 1 or like an old school Android. It's like, where are everybody's iPhones at? Where's everybody's brand new smartphone with a beautiful camera. I mean, what's going on with this flip phone camera type of footage? It's always hilarious to see this. And anytime I see footage that looks this bad, 
head, that's how you know it's probably real. But still take it all with a grain of salt. You never know. Somebody could have been creative and faked it. But because it's getting taken down, it's probably real. Like I always say, right? If they don't take down the footage or the images, it's probably not real. But that's also kind of weird to say considering there have been leaks in the past for Call of Duty. I can remember quite a few for Black Ops Cold War where there was gameplay out there or early cover art leaks for a season. And Activision never touched it. So it's almost like whenever they decide to take things down, they'll just do it. But other times they're just like, hey, we'll just leave it up. Who cares? But maybe if you don't take it down, it also helps their case a little bit to make it seem like the leak is fake. I mean, it can go either way, like I always say. Now, as I was editing this video, the Ghost of Hope went ahead and reported on all 18 Warzone 2 map points of interest, sweeping from top left to bottom right. And this is via Tom Henderson, another gaming scooper. So you have Oasis, Wartorn, Quarry, Oil Field, Modern City, which is High Rise, Caves, which is Afghan, Dam, Marshes, Harbor, Sierra, Observatory, Mountain Town, Assumed Favela, Graveyard, Old Town, Shipwreck, Fishtown, Fort, and even the Airport, which is supposed to be the Terminal. And I think a good point that Ghost of Hope also brought up is the leaked gameplay does seem like it could be a tutorial mode within Warzone 2, and the footage is in fact many, many months old from like, I think pre-pre-alpha as they describe it, so... You know, the footage still looks good based on the blurry footage that we've seen on the internet, but I can't even imagine how much better the game looks now, now that it's currently, I think, closer to beta than anything. I mean, the game isn't that far off from being playable by the public, but the Ghost of Hope does think that uh, there is a pop-up in the middle left talking about tack map and contracts. The UI is the same except turned green in the bottom right instead of blue. Armor play icon is still there. So yeah, that pop-up could just be for the devs, the play testers, or it could in fact be our first look at what could be the tutorial mode coming in the second iteration of Warzone. Now, the other gaming scooper, the Modern Warfare 2 Ghost, did say that Saba is the Warzone 2 map code name, and even posted a picture of what appears to be, I guess, a rough version of the minimap we're going to have in this experience. He put a disclaimer saying that this is a remake based off the actual map image, not the actual image itself, and yeah, that's obvious, but people out there are going to be like, wait, that's the map? And it's like, no, it's a recreation so we don't get striked down for talking about the spicy information here, but yeah, I mean, I think all these gaming scoopers have come together collectively as of recently and are essentially saying the same things or all the things they're saying individually are kind of adding up and forming this big puzzle of information that I think does check out. I'm really intrigued to see what ends up happening with the release date of Warzone 2. When will it be? Now, PlayStation Size has gone ahead and reported on a new update that was found in the PlayStation database for Call of Duty Vanguard, and we could safely assume that could be the mid-season update, but as I always say, with the Vanguard downloads that get found. Hopefully another Cold War patch is also around the corner to bring us some more multiplayer maps, to bring us some more bundles. But I'm curious what the mid-season update of Vanguard will actually offer because it does seem like based on the roadmap, there really isn't much left for the base game of this year's cycle. I mean, we have one more multiplayer map and I think a weapon or two, but other than that, no new modes, no events of any sort. And obviously Operation Monarch has definitely been the highlight of season three. But let's see what the future holds for the rest of this year's Call of Duty cycle, right? It's been wild, but I think Modern Warfare 2 marketing is 100% imminent. Now, a very weird report that I saw from Verified Leaker Reality UK is that an upcoming weapon in Vanguard, I guess we could assume, is the F2000, a classic weapon that we haven't seen since the original Modern Warfare 2 2009. So what are the odds of that, right? That's popping up now, and it's being codenamed the FN November. So I think a lot of weapons, or I think all of them actually, are referenced very strangely in the files of Vanguard where I think it goes with the phonetic alphabet and it kind of just puts a play on words a little bit and there's some examples that I'll put on screen so you can see. So the FN November is very likely the F2000. I think there's a potential for that weapon to be the pre-order bonus of Modern Warfare 2 and then you can then use the weapon in Warzone 1 Vanguard. Certainly a possible opportunity there for that to be an upcoming weapon that will also be available maybe at launch for Modern Warfare 2. But we then have a tweet from Charlie Intel saying there's all sorts of rumors flying around about Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, etc. As usually does as we get closer to reveal time. Just a tweet reminding everyone to be careful what you believe and we'll keep everyone updated on all the latest news. And they forgot hashtag ad at the end of that tweet because that sounds like something that Activision would want them to say. And I think everybody knows, right? If you have a brain, take all leaks and rumors with a grain of salt, right? And remember that when content creators talk about information, it's not because they're claiming the information like they're the source and they have seen stuff and sometimes that 
happens too, like, you know, Nero Cinema's video the other day, where somebody reached out to him with information, but at least when I talk about rumors, I'm just like, hey, this is what's being said, here's what I think about it, I think this is interesting for Call of Duty, if you're a passionate fan, but yeah, things can be fake, things can be made up for clout, everybody's aware of that, but when it comes to the way they worded the tweet, I'm like, alright, it's kind of fishy how, as of lately, they've only really reported on leaks from Tom Henderson, he's a reliable gaming scooper, nonetheless, he's proven himself time and time again, but it's weird that never really acknowledge Routes Valve, another scooper that has been claiming a lot of specific information about the upcoming Modern Warfare. A lot of his information has already come true, which is cool. I guess that confirms that he either knows somebody or he is somebody himself that works behind the scenes somewhere. That's good, but the interpretation I get from Routes specifically is that he's a hardcore Modern Warfare fanboy. He hasn't said anything else about any Treyarch or Sledgehammer material. He's all about Infinity Ward. So that's why I'm like, whenever Ralph himself comes out and claims something about maybe a Treyarch game or another game entirely, be optimistic about what he's saying. Be cautious about it because he seems to be like in this Modern Warfare type vibe, this Modern Warfare zone, and may only be getting information from whoever it is during the Infinity Ward scene, right? Or at the Infinity Ward scene. He may not have any other good information elsewhere. But I also think it's funny that the Ghost of Hope, another gaming scooper, followed up after Charlie Intel's tweet and was like, well, I guess that kind of confirms the information they've been sharing about DMZ and about Warzone 2, because the information is probably correct, but regardless of how reliable a gaming scooper is, keep in mind, they're hearing information that might be outdated already. Could it be information that is currently true right now, but won't be when the game comes out this fall. Things are still in like an alpha stage, maybe even a beta stage. I mean, things behind the scenes right now are at a stage where everything is subject to change on the fly like this. I mean, we're talking within days, things could be drastically changed to the point where the public won't even ever know about what gets changed unless you have gaming scoopers like Ghost of Hope and others that are talking about information this early on. Now, Microsoft's president, Brad Smith, also reported that the Activision Blizzard acquisition is moving fast, at least fast enough for an acquisition of this size. It says they have received requests the United States, the United Kingdom, and Belgium governments for more info and are complying with all asks. So that's the thing. It was proposed that the acquisition would go through in, I think, June 2023. So about a year from now, but could even happen sooner than that. Could be pushed back even farther. May not even happen at all. So keep in mind, the future of Activision is definitely up in the air. I know it's gotten a vote and it's been passed through them, but the government still has to go through, check everything, and then go ahead and pass it once again. So there's always a possibility it doesn't happen, but if it does, I think the future of Call of Duty is going to be a wild one. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on all the information we went over in this video? What are your thoughts on the specific details regarding the points of interest in Warzone 2? How are you feeling about the leaked gameplay for Modern Warfare 2? And also, what are your thoughts on a potential F2000 coming to Vanguard? Really hope you've enjoyed, and peace out, everybody.